Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Christine of Twinkle Plans Her Day. I thought I would do a video today a little different from a plan with me. I wanted to talk about my favorite pens, which of course are my liners, but I have a lot of other pens that I recently got because I'm working with Zebra Pen now and they sent me a whole bunch of different pens. So I thought I would do a video reviewing them and talk about my favorites and why they're my favorites and how I'm going to use them. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so as you can guess, there are a whole lot of pens today to talk about because I love pens and all things that are stationary. But my favorite are the Myliners. This is the full collection. There are 25 of them and they're double-sided. So obviously I talk about Myliners all the time. So you probably know what I'm talking about. But if you're new to my channel, don't know what they are. They're double-sided highlighters. So we have a chiseled tip on one side and the other side is a fine tip. And this is like what the chisel tip look like and the fine tip like this. There are 20, 25 different colors and I have a swatch of all of them here. If you wanna try them out, they sell five packs and these are the different five packs. We have a fluorescent group, a deep and warm group, a bright group, a cool and refined group, and the friendly group. I would suggest just going with one five pack if it's something you wanna look into. It doesn't bleed through the paper at all. It's just wonderful. I mean, I just use them for all sorts of things. Uh, do we have some examples? Let's show, I use them for highlighting, of course, but I also do use templates with them and there's still kind of different color combinations you can have. This is just one template and see how beautiful you can, there's so many different things that you can do. So there's that. I have lots of videos about my liners and how I use them. If you want to go back and look at some older videos, uh, there's that. But these are my favorite. I just wanted to get out, that out of the way. But while I'm on this subject, they recently came out. And when I say recently, this is probably a year ago, maybe even two. The my liner brush pens. I had bought a pack of these. Oh, gosh about six months ago and I actually never used it. And then finally the Zebra Pen people were very kind enough to send me the whole pack and now I'm hooked. I absolutely love them, using them in all sorts of projects. If you're using coloring, if you're doing coloring books, it's the same kind of colors as the Mod Liners, except you can get into little crevices because of this brush pen. So you can do a short line and a thick line in one stroke. It's Pretty easy to do calligraphy with these kinds of pens. I'm not even a letterer, but it makes just everything so just flows. It's just so easy to go from, from thick to thin. And if you lay the pen on its side, you'll have a nice tear shape effect and you can do all sorts of floral designs to play with. And there's all kinds of, see, you can just get it like a teardrop effect. You can play with these. So I love brush pens for that reason. And they come in the same fabulous color schemes. There's only 15 of them versus the Mod Liners, which have 25 colors. But I just love this color scheme. Every single color goes well with something else. It's also double-sided. So the other side has that fine tip. So there you go. Those are my two favorites. But moving along, because there's so many new things that I've just recently discovered. Then after that, they came out with Click Art, and I did buy this. The Zebra Pen people sent me another one, but I did originally buy this when they came out. These are Click Pens. They come in a set of 12, and the unique feature of this is that they're just click, and you have that fine tip, and I love that the colors just pop off the page. It's not too thin. They don't, it doesn't bleed through. The ink doesn't dry out. It's very easy to work with. If you like coloring, this is perfect because you get into those tight spaces. I would do like coloring for small spaces. Of course, you can't obviously do a large area, but really love these for journaling as well. Do I? So this is the Click Art. I just love them. And here's a sample. I have actually, here is a sample of all the Click Arts and the swatches come with it. Love it. Okay. So that's next on my list. Then the Myliner people came out with Kira Rich markers. I had never seen them, but they sent me these. These are glitter highlighters, very similar to the Myliners, except the ink is infused with glitter. 
And so I will, and it's just one sided. So if you, now the ink, because of the glitter, there's more ink and it kind of pulls at the end. And if you just tap on it, it will come off. But you can do large surfaces with, and if you sort of glance it towards the light, you'll get a glitter effect, but you, it's really hard for the camera to see, but there is glitter in there. And again, if you just tap it with your finger, the pooling will go away. So this is not my favorite. I don't think that you see the glitter enough. I do see it in real life and I don't see it at all on the camera, but it's not enough for somebody, for, for, for me to go crazy and buy it. But I do love the colors. So that's that. Then, oh gosh, you guys, they sent me this and I nearly, I had no idea it existed. When I first got it, I'm like, what am I gonna use this for? But here, I'll open and show you. These are brush metallic ink pens. Let me take, like this blue one for some example. So it works the same way as the other brush pens, except they're metallic ink. And okay, I saw it. The brushes are a little bit bigger. I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with this? I like them, but it's just like a brush, like a paintbrush on your pen. So that's nice, but it didn't wow me. And then I tried it on black paper. And let me just tell you the things you can do. This is like a rainbow. These are all the colors. Look how it just pops off the page. For example, I made a peacock just by doing that same effect, taking the pen, putting it on the side, and you get like this tear, do tear drop effect. And you can make all sorts of fun florals with it. I have some florals here, some side, there's so many. So this is just tr has turned into a, some sort of art journal. And look at those colors. Look how they just pop off the page. Just stunning. I did some calligraphy up here with them and I did the boxes on this layout here with Happy Planner stickers. And then here's another, another peacock that I was just going and just experimenting with different things you can do with these pens. Um, this, these are hearts that I made just with the same effect of using those teardrop. If you put the teardrops together, you can make different hearts. And I thought that looked cute on the side of the page. So those are some, some examples of the brush pen. Love these metallic ink brush pens. I did see these at Joann's, but these were sent to me. I would have never thought to buy them. If I, I'd seen them in the store and never thought that they would be anything I would use, but I absolutely love these. Another thing that they sent me that I would have never tried otherwise are the Sarasa clip pens. These are also click, click pens and they're very fine. So they kind of work like a ballpoint ink, but they have lots of different colors. So if you like to journal in a whole bunch of colors, there's gotta be, I don't even know, I didn't count, but there's gotta be like 25 at least, five, 10, like let's say 20 to 25 colors in just these, this set here, and then I found this set, I actually bought this one at Joann's because this one works on dark paper. So I'm going to use this, and guess what I found, guys? I found black post-its. So I'm hoping to maybe do something with these and the black post-its. I also bought white post-its, and I thought I could do something fun with these and my black journal. So maybe I'll do something with this. Let me just show you a little bit how it works. Onto, so I'm gonna show you just a little bit here in case you're interested. So here's the white one. The most interesting because, let's see how it works on this. Again, I'm gonna write hello because that's my standard. So you can write very thin, but you do see that ink. It just pops off. So it's a little thinner than something, let's say, a uniball, which I have here. And I've just discovered the uniball too. I'm really in love with it. See how much more, if you want a thicker line, that's the Signo uniball. So I do prefer the Signo for the white, but if you want really a really fine tip pen that works on black paper, you have these, it's called Milk Color Ink Pens, Sarasa Clip from Zebra. So you get it, this is a set of eight, but I, sh I did, wasn't even thinking I was gonna talk about this, but I do love this pen. It's also good if you make a mistake in your planning. I've been using this to color, cover up lines. If, if I'm making a box, let's say I'm making a box, and you know how the planner has like three lines like this, morning, evening, night. If I put a box like this, and I wanna co cover this line, 
I hope you know what I mean. Let's say this is morning, noon, and night in a traditional planner, and I did a box with my liner. I can use, take away that line using the signal ball, and I don't know why I didn't discover this sooner, but it totally works to cover up. Now it's harder with the actual ink that was there before, but with the little with the little lines that come with the planner, it just works so, so well. Here I think I need to make maybe two coats. I have to let it dry and maybe do another coat before you'd see it completely on that one. But there's that. So next, just found these as well. These are clean, zig clean color dots. So these are two-sided, double-sided with a very fine, fine tip. I'm not too fond of this tip. You can barely see it on the page. I bet you can't even see it on camera. I bet you can't even see it. But on the other side, we have this kind of ball feature. It's like a dot marker that you see in preschools. But look at that. You can do bullet points so easily. And I love the color scheme that they have here. I bought this off of Amazon. So here's another one here. Let's show you the fine point first of the pink. And then here are the dots. This is pulling a little bit today, but it's you get perfectly good dots. I was thinking maybe I could do something creative and fun with my planner using these. I do love the color. They're kind of a lot more bolder than I remembered when I bought them. I haven't even used them yet on a planner spread, but I plan to, and it's pooling a little bit now. I think it looks a lot bolder than I was expecting. I, thought I, I tested them out and I really liked it, but now I think they look a little bold. Anyway, there's that. Anything else I wanted to come over? Yes, my writing pens. I know a lot of people ask me this all the time. What is the best pen to write with in your planner? Like, my favorite writing pen is a Papermate. Papermate Ink Joy. It's a click. And I mean, I just love it. I usually write in uppercase in my planner. The ink is really dark. That's what I love about it as well. It's not too thin, it's not too thick, it works for me. Um, let's see, I have, you know, I usually just write like a little check mark and like my, whatever my plan is. And I just love the way it fits in my hands. It's just really fun, practical, just glides through the paper. I just have no problem. Uh, I do recommend this pen. You can get a whole pack of, like, you can find them anywhere and you can get a pack of them for not too too expensive. So I do like this for writing in my planner. So to recap, favorite pens of all time are the Myliners, which do I even have a pack in front of me anymore? Here they are. Favorite are the Myliners with very close behind are the brush pens. Really, I would invest in these. If you love mod liners and if you love lettering especially, these are really good for lettering and the, and the colors will match perfectly. So that's why I love these, this set so, so much. I keep them in the package because I'm just in love. And then I love the Sarasa clip for, oh, actually the click art is really good. If you wanna, I'm gonna start coloring. Let's see if I can find one here. Behind me, I should have some, oh, here we go. I have some of these stickers that the Happy Planner came out with in one of their bloom boxes. And let me just show you, you have two different greens. You can use them on these florals. So this is really good for coloring these kinds of things. It doesn't bleed through any of the paper. And for tight spaces like this, maybe a mod liner wouldn't work, but the click arts do. I mean, you wouldn't have to worry about bleeding anyway, and you don't have to worry. You can go from color to color very quickly. You're not, you're not taking uh, caps off and replacing them. So you can probably use the brush pens on these as well. And the mod liners would match it perfectly. But I do love the click arts for this. If you're into like those mandala coloring books or something, that would be perfect for this. And I just love it. The colors just really work well. A lot of ink without being too much. So that's a sample of what that would look like. And again, never have to worry about caps. I also like to keep everything pretty organized. 
with the cases. So then comes this, and then come the, the metallic brush pens, amazing, and the Sarasic clip. So if you have any questions about any of these pens, please, you can leave a comment down below or DM me on Instagram at Twinkle Plants or Day, and we can discuss pens. What pens are your favorite? I always like to try new pens. I love stationary stuff. So any new products, let me know. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Twinkle Plants Today. Thank you so much for watching.